Hello and welcome back to the Road to SSL series. Sorry this one took so long, I've actually been having a lot of audio issues, so I had to replace my mixer and everything. Hopefully I sound a little crispier than normal. Uh, either way, we're at Diamond 1 Division 2, and we have 6 out of 10 matches played in 3v3. We're gonna still play both and see if we can get some more 3v3 matches. I'm expecting we're probably gonna be around uh, either gold or platinum. We've lost quite a few threesome matches so far, so let's see how it goes. We've got today's meme of the day by Squin, which is Dig Trio. Uh, this is gonna be very cursed, uh, so bear with me. All right, let's take a crack at this. We've got Doug Trio, we've got Evo, we've got Gyro, and then we've got Arsenal. So I think already what I can tell right now is these are the people that I want uh, in the spots. It looks like I need to flip Evo around. Let's do that. Let's work on him first. Let's remove these two and let's just get Evo's face. Okay, there's one. <laughs> it's not pretty yet, but I'll have to blend it somehow. Let's, uh, let's just get all of the heads in there uh, to start and let's see where it goes. And last but certainly not least, we've got Arsenal. Let me get him in there. Uh, this is so stupid. Oh, man. You know, sometimes I surprise myself. Now, a matter of blending this, that's that's a question, huh? How am I going to do that? Let's let's do a soft brush here and let's just see what I could create uh, by just erasing uh, a lot of stuff. I don't know what I'm doing. This is hard because his headphones are right here. I need to like remove that. Trust the process. This is not looking good so far. I, I need to figure out what I want to do with this. Okay. I think I need to redo Arsenal. I've removed too much of him. <laughs> okay. Let's take all of these guys and make a copy. And then we will convert to smart object. And let's try this real quick. Let's desaturate. Let's color overlay these guys. Color overlay, normal, overlay, and oh my god, okay. Let's do this color. Hmm. <laughs> okay, not my finest work, but there we have it. We have Dig Trio. Uh, that was an experience and a half. I'm sorry for what I've created. I'm not, I like it. Alright, of course we have 2v2. We've got Grim Grimaniac, maybe? Uh Parcival, Sure, and Deegs. Let's see how it goes. Uh Parcival's on my team. We have people flipping towards the kickoff now. My teammate may not be here. Oh, no, he's here. Whoa, there. All right, good touch off the corner. I think I might cut it here. I gotta be a little bit careful. A little scary. There we go. Good hit to the right. This is gonna be a, a little bit of a dangerous spot now because my teammate missed. And what I can do here is try to read it off the, the, the sidewall and see how like that demo actually gave us a lot of space. So now I'm just getting the 50-50. My teammate should be on this first. Good 50-50. He doesn't get this mid boost. Oh, he actually backs off for it. I was gonna say, because he didn't get it, I was gonna go up for it and grab it. Uh, but I'm just letting my teammate do some challenges for me. Great touches. They bump each other a little bit. Now I'm gonna wait for this guy to challenge because he has he has, he has has uh, possession. Now I can challenge him because he's letting go of the ball a little bit. And I'm just gonna back up. Nice. Waiting for Deegs here. Once again, just waiting for my teammate to challenge for me or get out of the way. I'm gonna stay close to this. I'm gonna roll this up the wall, see what happens, because the one player is out of the way. He's clear to the side, but my teammate's ready for it. Does quite uh, make a bad miss though. Now waiting behind. Doesn't have an angle on goal, so I can just backflip this. If a player, if the player was a little more angled towards, I think my teammate's missing that. Um, if the player was a little more angled towards net, I'd be a little bit more worried. But he's off target with where where he's positioned with the car, so I'm just playing behind that. Go for a aerial. Towards net, Deegs should have this though. Good try on the bump by uh, Grimaniac. Oh, good bump. I was gonna go up again. Now the best thing to do here is like try to force 50 or or make some sort of challenge because they're a little bit awkward in net. Teammates up for it, does miss though. So now I gotta defend a, a 2v1. He pops it away though. This guy's bumping me. Oh. Oh my goodness, I almost bumped my teammate into the save. A great play from them. Yeah, it was a big overcommit from my teammate. And I probably could have made a better save. I was trying to like not make it obvious that I was shadowing that perfectly. I could have made it clear to the corner. But uh, he uh, he made a good play towards the net. All right, good 50. Should be clear. I'm going to grab this boost immediately. And then just try to stay close. My teammate went. I'm going to let him go. I have not seen a Hot Wheels car in a long time. This is going to bounce back in a mid. I can go for this first. See what they do with that. Good. Good. Just playing patient. This guy misses. 
I can stay close here. They're a little bit awkward. And then we get a goal. I didn't even have to do too much there. I was staying with the ball and I had a better position than the opponents. And I knew that if I just stayed patient, uh, something might come of it. And it did. I was just trying to stay close to the, uh, the play. And even if they rush that and put it behind my teammate or behind me, it should be to my teammate uh, up the ramp or off to the side wall. And uh, he should be covering all those angles. So I have possession here. If I'm, if I'm uncomfortable bringing this up the wall, I can stay with the ball here. And I see this guy challenging me. I'm just trying to make some touches to get around him. My teammate is challenging this and it's gonna bounce back in a mid. I should try to be here, but I see Diggs is kind of ready for it. Okay, good clear. So at this at this rank so far in diamond, we're, we're, we're low diamond, but people are getting aerials and trying to stay on the ball. Now I see my teammate cutting, so I just backed off instead. Gotta be a little bit careful, that's a pinch and a half. Once again, you can try to be the shooter here uh, to be on the ball. That's a great clear. Nice 50 as well. Now this is towards Deegs. But as I was saying, you, you on these saves, you kind of want to be the shooter. Because you see how awkward it is if I'm not like behind uh, the ball. It becomes very awkward when you're when you're under the ball like that. All right, so Grim Maniac's trying to make a touch. I'll shoot my, my teammate here. Got to be very careful to flip forwards because they might have it. I'm going to turn on this. Makes a shot. Maybe a save for my teammate. Nice save. It's off backboard. I'm trying to read this early. It's on the field. It's going to bounce up and out. Let's see what my teammate wants to do with this. Maybe try to make a pass. A little dangerous because if the pass isn't perfect and they cut it off, it is a little scary. All right. I should still have this. To my teammate. It's decent clear. They do miss. Hopefully my teammate can follow it. Close. I can go on this early. It's a little scary once again because you are last, but they lose possession quite a bit there because they're they're trying to challenge the ball and flick it off the wall. But those hard chips just end up being very awkward um, to deal with. Oh, it might be a shot opportunity. Oh, close. A little bit careful with this shot. Now I can let this uh, roll off the wall or I can pop it off the wall like that and stay with it. Nice, good clear. All right, so this is a play where like I am last, but I can maybe go for this um, because you can see that Deegs didn't really want to go and I can try to bump him in this corner. All right, I see my team wants to go for this. Good backflip. That's good control in the corner. I like that. And I can go around this and then there we go. We got overtime. So I was a good play for my teammate to let that ball like kind of die out in the corner uh, rather than just letting the ball bounce on its own. Because if, if you do that, it's really dangerous. Great cut. This might be open. Can you get there? Nice. Good shot. What? What the heck? Why you be mean? <laughs> Let's see if they say anything. I feel like we made that guy just rethink his whole life. We got the 90s kid. I've never been more insulted in my life. That title just made me feel old. Being called a 90s kid. We got Isarchy on my team against Sick and Layton. We got 2v2 again. So once again, this ball's close to the wall. So we know that in this situation, I can stay behind it. See if this guy challenges me. Totally fine. This guy doesn't have the best control. He hits it across. So I'm going to hit this off the, the corner maybe. Chip spilled to mid. My teammate is behind me though. Decent. Now he spilled the ball back to me here. Looks like one's up. He does miss though. Good control. So Sick was last there. He tried to play for the 50-50, which is really well played. Looks like my teammate's leaving so I can stay with this. And beat him here. Now I can play this corner nice and safe. See how the player is being very defensive? Like I can play that very, very safe because they're, they're scared to push out because they're last. That's a little scary though, that play right there. Whenever you have a chip that goes into mid like that, and it's not immediately attacked by the, uh, the the second teammate. You have to be very, very careful because it can be an immediately cl immediate clear down in the net. Now, Leighton thought Sick was gonna make a touch. He didn't. Trying to make a pass maybe. Oh, okay. See, I didn't want to push on that. I'm gonna take this boost and then take it back. 
Good try. Should be Ice Arc here. Good try on the dribble to the side. The guy missed the ball or the boost, so I'm just going to go for the, the hit down the field. Good try on the control. It's going to be a hand it off to Leighton, though. And after this boost grab, he should turn. If he doesn't want to, then I'll just back off. Nice. Oh, okay, okay. So you can see I could kind of commit in the corner, which puts me in a bad spot, but my teammate was ready to get behind me. And now we have a touch on this. On this. We can also fake this because he's going to go first. Not going to stay at the wall. So my teammate does go too, but I hopefully hit that in a good enough spot. That's not too dangerous. Good save. I'll say no problem. Good 50. Looks like he still wants it. Are you able to shoot this? Good try. Now this ball's in a spot where you can kind of control it. He's going to maybe aerial towards it. Doesn't get the best touch. Try this middle. My teammate's quite far, but he's in a good position to receive that now. He's trying to chase me. Good touch. Oh, good try. So what he could have done differently there is probably try to stay controlled instead of trying to like mate force the goal. Cause in that position, like he can't really get a shot on goal. Uh, I'm going to stay in the corner here, just force him into a play, and now uh, my teammate should have this. A little awkward, though, because he's not positioned well in the net. Um, he should be, like, more positioned like this, where he can go forward with the ball. Obviously, I I late flipped it, and I messed my teammate up. That's okay, though. Now, late in my go for this, totally fine. Once again, I'm just going to stay patient on the backboard. Honestly, if the ball, like, is not in a, a dangerous spot right in front of the net, you don't have to worry too much. My teammate might want, to, might want to go for this. The decent try. Okay, once again, just wait on the wall. Okay, a little scary. Yeah, my teammate got uh, on top of me on that play. He uh, he didn't ex expect me to be there, I guess, because he was kind of in the corner. Like, he basically did exactly what I was doing and then got stuck on me. And I probably could have figured that out. I'm probably playing a little too patient because Diamond is definitely a lot faster than uh, Platinum was in the last episode. I'm just going to wait for this. He pops it out. See, my teammate wants to cut this. He does. Oh, he does. I got time to cut this around. You see how I, I use the time that I have? Oh, that's a high touch. Okay, once again, I can maybe go for this. A little awkward. Go for a bump or something. But you can see how I can use the space uh, when, this, when these balls like pop out like this. Um, there's a lot of time to uh, make a play and cut around the ball more than you expect. Like right here, he needs to control this. Fine, good job. Good. Hello, teammate. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Decent shot, but it's going to be a free clear from them. Might go on this again. Not the best shot. I hit this forward. It's going to be off. Wait for them to see what they make a touch. Oh, they miss. I got space on the ball here. Only 20 seconds left, though. We got to make something happen. Nice. Good shot. So I, I probably played that a little too fast in the corner, like right here. I tried to just dribble it and then pop it back out mid. Um, but there's a lot of space there to play in the corner. If you're not comfortable jumping off the wall and landing back on the wall, I really highly suggest you go into free play. And, and just jump off the wall. Pillars is a great map to do that. I wish there was more that like console players could do because it's like all they can do is all you guys can do is like just play the vanilla game. There's not like a bunch of training maps and stuff. I was a little close there on the, the zero seconds. So some people are not flipping off the kickoff. Okay. Waiting behind here. See if Sick pops it forward. Great follow from my teammate. This should be a chance. I'm trying to follow up his touch. And now Sick is panicking. So off this touch, he can maybe shoot it. A little rushed. A little rushed there. I have possession on the ball. I'm going to try and pop it up. I just stay close. 
Nice, he's gonna roll up. See what team wants to go for this. Oh, 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 come on, get it. Oh, that's actually a really good play. I'll leave that mid boost for my teammate. Hops it out. I'm trying to bump this guy off the ball. And it's just in. Okay, wow. So yeah, sick. I think sick missed position on this. Let's see. Yeah, he went super wide and then he couldn't reach it. Not too bad though. My teammate played play pretty well. Um, I definitely did a little bit too much to make that overtime uh, goal, but either way, it was pretty good. My, I got carried by my teammate. Um, I would say that the biggest thing is just um, the positioning is better here, but overall the rotations are a little bit slow and also the, the touches are just not very consistent. So like people are still trying to do aerials and stuff in spots where they don't really need to be. There are times where the ball is in a very inaccessible spot or unshootable spot and people are jumping for it. It's always good to understand like the spacing of when you have an opponent on the ball, where they're going to hit the ball. Um, you know, if there's a ball that's rolling up off the wall like this, when I pop these up, off the wall like this. I'm not trying to make my teammate go for it, but some of them are still jumping up at something like this. But it's like, this is just gonna spill back into mid and then the opponents can come in here and, and make a dribble player or something. So you just gotta make sure you're not over committing. And I, that's a big, big thing that I'm still seeing a lot of, even in the highest ranks. People will like commit on the, the silliest things, but let's get into the final game here. Let's see what we get. Once again, no 3v3. I might have to start unqueuing twos once in a while just to get threes. because. Out of uh, six episodes, we've only had six uh, 3v3 games. Speaking of, we got one. Okay, so this is the seventh one. We got Andre and Alan uh, with a teammate that has not connected yet. Oh, they're partied up. Okay, so this is a party of three versus um, Trepid, Newt, and Chaban. Let's see how it goes. Oh, they're not going for the kickoff. It's a high touch. Wow. That's quite the aerial, actually. So I have no idea where we are in ranks. I don't have the ranks on today. I just realized. It's honestly probably better that I don't know. Okay, let's see if this guy goes first. He's playing dedicated goalie, so I'm going to assume that we're still pretty low here. Is that another... Wait, is that a Lamborghini? What is that car? Uh, it's, the car designs are crazy. Let's see if this guy gets this. Very clear. This should be me now. So Alan should try to get a clear here across, but as you can see, I'm already waiting there. This is what I was talking about, positioning in a spot where you can follow up the touch. Oh, nice finish. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I remember the last game that I played. This was like, it was like 200 MMR. This is way better quality than the last game. I'll say nice one, even though he's kind of great passing the opponent. Um, this is much better quality than the last game. I feel like we're much higher now. I would say this is at least gold. Good challenge. I am I am first man there, so I'm just trying to put a body in there. Dude's kind of uh, lost in the sauce a little bit. Nice. I'm gonna go for this. Okay, good clear off the corner. It's gonna be them though. Good save by Newt. Oh. Good save again. Chaban should be on this. Okay. See, I'm just waiting in a good position to kind of follow the touches. I'm not trying to push too close. Like, there's so much space to play with in the corner here. Oh. And I'm going to cut this off and then put it across the other side. So see if my teammate can come. Oh, Newt's like mad chilling. <laughs> well, that was fun. Whoa, Nelly. Good try in the aerial. I got space here in the corner. I'm trying to play this close. Newt's got it. Okay, I'm going to wait in mid here. Two players try to clear it. Once again, I'm first man, so I'm just going to try and get in the way. It's actually like, even though like some players are playing very, very slow... I'm finding that I'm able to get more involved because they're not fully chasing. So I do like they're playing a little patient. They're trying to read each other. Okay, as I was saying that, I'm going to go back. <laughs> okay, this ball is in a spot where Alan can try to clear it. There we go. See, like, even though I'm sitting further back, I'm able to read it. And that's not going to work in like the higher ranks, obviously. 
I, I, whenever I talk about my positioning, I'm trying to play like to the adaptability of the rank. I'm not. I'm, I'm trying to play around what they're doing. So of course, my positioning is gonna change as I go up the ranks based on like what I'm seeing. So I think my teammate, my third, is gonna go for that. So I'm just gonna back off. Nice touch. Gonna bounce off the corner. Should be one of them though. There it is. Now it was open because that was their last man committing. But I'm gonna put it to the corner, and then just wait to see what Alan does. Okay. 91 boost. I can go for a bump or something. Take the corner. So now they're pretty starved, and Andre's got the ball, but Japan should go for this. Now you can see how dangerous this looks right now, but I'm just going to wait for it, and now I can go. And there's nobody there because everyone's positioning kind of wild in this rank right now, but I think at, at gold level, you can kind of wait for those, those balls to spill into mid. It's a good try. It's off target, so once again, I don't have to panic. I'm just trying to track it. Oh. She my teammate to go for this. <laughs> oh, I had my eyes on him the whole time, and then I just see the ball go to the left. That's not what I expected that guy to do. It's actually hilarious that he like missed so poorly that it went over to me. Hey, it's down the field. Wow, oh, where'd that come from? What the heck? Hello. All right, one of my teammates should go for this. Oh, they return own goal. Waiting for Newt. Okay, I'm gonna go in here, maybe. Okay, I'm going in. I'll bump the guy who maybe could make the, the clear. It should be clear here. I'm going to go on the right side. Oh, they're aerialing. Holy. I am dead. Okay. This should be uh, overtime most likely. Oh, good try on the aerial. Nice. What the heck? They're dribbling. I'm hoping that they go. Okay, he doesn't want to. I'm going to chase this down. Oh, a little scary. Nice. That was a nice pass from, uh, from Newt. I just wasn't sure if I should be going for that aerial. All right, good challenge from Optimal. Should be uh, Newt to go for this. Okay, two players go. This should be my teammate. He needs to not be scared. He really just needs to go there because he's putting me and him in the same position. Over my head. All right, see what they do here. Yeah, they're really scared to challenge. There you go. Needs someone to go for it. Okay. See what happens here. Should we need to clear this? A little spooky. Oh. Oh, we missed. Hello. Oh, we're getting real messy. And it's in. Yeah, that's uh, that's tough. <laughs> that's really tough. There's a lot of panic. I definitely could have saved that. I just uh. Did with the bump and then the play the player to dive across. It was close though. 3v3 is a wild, wild card. And I think it will be throughout the whole series. Uh, I'm actually kind of glad though, because we can really go through the lower ranks of threes to get a better feel for like what is going on down in these ranks. Cause it's and that was silver, and there were some gold players. So I was kind of on the, the mark. Like low, low gold, high silver. Um, definitely an interesting one. There were so many times where players in that first man were just scared and they would just like back off. They, they were hesitating and it, it causes like a bit of a, a pipeline problem where if the players are rotating behind you and you're still stuck in net, then you're just going to be putting everyone in the same position. And then that's where the panic comes in. That was quite an interesting game though. Seeing like uh, the guy miss very poorly off to the own goal and then 
the bumps in the net and stuff. Very interesting. I hope you guys are getting something from this series. I mean, I'm not really sure what to do and commentate when these games are like so slow. I'm trying not to take over and just like, you know, save everything and shoot everything, obviously. So we're going to have some wins and losses here and there. Um, but either way, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh, sorry these took so long to get back out. Uh, I don't know if you guys can tell the audio has changed a little bit. Probably. I mean, it feels different for me. I can, I can definitely hear it. I'm dealing with a bit of a monitoring issue on my end where I'm sounding echoey because of the fact that there's a software delay. Um, but hopefully that we can find a fix for that or I can get some new hardware because this is kind of hard to deal with. I'm, I'm finding I'm, so, I'm tripping over my own words. <laughs> Either way, uh, until next time, have a great day, guys, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.